What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp for layout tutorial for you. So in this video, I wanted to talk about how to work with multiple different levels in your buildings in layout. So before I get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course I put together to uh, give some more comprehensive training in SketchUp. So it's basically the equivalent of a two-day in-person course. So I cover everything from getting started with SketchUp all the way through some more detailed stuff having to do with interior design and layout and some photorealistic rendering. So in addition, I'm there to answer questions if you get stuck or anything like that. So it basically is like taking a two-day in-person course. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this is a continuation of my series where we modeled this apartment model. Um, and if you remember, we've modeled this from start to finish so that we can export it to layout so that we can create plans using layout. So it's all organized the way that we want it to be organized. We've really gone through this entire model start to finish. And so if you want to get to that whole series, um, I've got a link to it on my layout resources page. That's the sketchupessentials.com slash layout. And uh, so in this case, what I wanted to do is I went in and I modeled a stair. And uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to add a second level. And I just wanted to show you how to group everything and how to organize everything so that you can still create the plans that you want in layout. And so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to group all of this original geometry. Because what we want to do is we want to put the geometry for each level on its own layer so that you can get back in here and create views so that you can edit one and then the other. And we want to make the whole thing really easy. So if you remember, the whole point of this has been that we're coming in here and we're creating different views so that we can access and do different things within this model. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take all of the geometry that we created created. And if you remember, we've been organizing everything in this model in the outliner. Well, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take everything um, in the model so far, and uh, we're going to put it all in a group. We're going to select everything by clicking on this first group, by holding the shift key, and then clicking on the last option, which will allow us to select everything in our model. And so we're just going to right click on that, and we're just going to put that in a group. And so you can see how now I can collapse everything into this one group. And what we want to do is we want to come in here and we want to rename this level one. And then from there, we're going to introduce a new layer type. So this layer type is going to be a level layer type. And so basically, that's going to be a layer type that allows you to set your different levels on different layers so you can turn them on and off. So I'm just going to click the plus button, and I'm just going to type level dash level one. And really, you can call these whatever you want. You just want to make sure that you're staying organized. And so we're just going to take this group. So if you remember, what we've been doing is we've been taking each group and putting it on a different layer so that we can control all of our visibilities and have a whole bunch of different options in here. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to click on this level one option. And then once we have that selected, we're going to go up to our group. and We're going to set the layer in here to level one. So now you can come in here and you can turn the whole layer on and off. And you can see how when you do that, everything in the outliner turns off as well because basically this one big group that we have in here is on that layer. So when we turn that off, nothing shows up in here. And so now what we're going to do is we're just going to come in here and we're going to rough out our second level. And from this point on, basically, this is very similar to what we did before. So I'm just going to come in here real quick and I'm just going to rough out basically my floor for this level. So I'm just going to draw this in here. And you can see how now I have a floor group in here. And so now you can see if I turn my level one off, this floor that I drew isn't on that level one layer. So now you can come in here and you can just kind of work and model this um, in that way. And so in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here. We'll go ahead and make that a group. And I'm going to and I'm just going to take that group and I'm going to rename that to floor. And we'll go ahead and we'll put this in our flooring layer. And now this is just a question of layering and grouping everything the same way that we did before. So you can go back and watch the whole series. Again, I linked to the playlist at the sketchupessentials.com slash layout. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of make a copy here. And I'm going to use this second group to kind of rough out my walls. So you can come in here and you can explode this. And then I'm just going to use the offset tool to start. 
and we're just going to model our walls the same way we did before. So I'm going to delete out this center piece and what I'm going to do is remember how we came in here and we created different groups for our interior and exterior walls. So what I did in this case is I kind of closed this one off and then I'm just double clicking on it. Then I can right click on it and I can make that a group. Then we can come in here and we can name this exterior wall and we can put this on our exterior walls layer. And so you can see how basically what we're doing And probably what I can do is go ahead and move this back now. I just kind of moved my copy out of the way so that I could see what I was working with. But then we'll do the same thing over here where we'll make this one a group. And we'll call this one interior walls. And we can go ahead and go inside those groups and give these some height. And so now, if I was to turn on my level one layer, you can see how I have the geometry created in here for my first level and for my second level. And the assumption here, because this looks a little bit weird, is that this would be part of an apartment complex. So um, the, the next apartment above this would kind of fit in and tooth in around this. We're not gonna worry about that for right now. We're more worried about just creating our geometry for our second level. So you can see how, again, if I come in here and I turn off my level one, I can just see my level two. And so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here real quick and I'm gonna add a door. And in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little trick. So I don't wanna have to come in here and double click to get into my door group to copy one of these. And I really don't wanna come in here and uh, I really don't wanna come in here and remodel my door either. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my components section of my tray and I'm going to go up to in model. So you go to the component section of your tray and you click the little drop down in here. And you can see how basically what this does is this allows you to see all of the different components that are in your model when we select in model. And so what I can do is I can scroll down and I can find my doors that are in my model and I can just drag a new copy in here. So in this case, because this is a little bit smaller opening uh, probably what we'll do is we'll drag in I think this three foot seven might get a little goofy with its swing so we'll bring in this two foot by seven foot and that's not an ideal door but probably what we'll do is we'll just kind of adjust it but this was a two foot door which I don't think is quite big enough so I'm gonna just gonna go in here and select the frame and I'm just gonna use the move tool to move this frame out probably another six inches. And so now what we have is we have a two foot six inch door. And then the only thing we need to do from that point is we're just gonna go in and we're gonna edit the swing. And for some reason, this has a material applied to it that I don't want, so I'm just gonna paint over it. But basically, I'm just gonna draw this out. We'll extend this six inches, and I'm just using the line tool in order to do that. Then I can erase this, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn my interior and exterior wall layers on and off so that I can see this a little bit better. So I'm just gonna turn my interior walls and my exterior walls off. And that'll work better if I actually put this interior walls group on the interior walls layer. So now I can turn that off and I can just come in here and I can redraw my door swing. And then I can turn my door or my walls back on. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, because I modeled this a little bit weird, is I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna punch out this opening in this wall by drawing a box across the face and then using the push-pull tool. So now what I have is I basically have a, a layer up here or a group up here of geometry that's my second floor. So if I turn my first floor on, you can see my first floor down below and my second floor up above. Well, what we wanna do is we wanna do the same thing that we did before where we're gonna take this level two geometry and we're gonna put it all in a group. So we'll just right click or we'll select everything in the outliner, right click and we'll click make group. And so now what I have is I have a group that I'm gonna rename level two. And I'm gonna create another layer in here for level, level two. And I'm gonna put this group on that layer. 
And so now I can turn each layer on and off separately. And so what you may want to do, and a lot of this depends on how complex your model is, but you may want to or need to come in here and adjust some of your working views. So like for example, or some of your views. So like for example, this working view, probably what I would do is I would set this view so that I could see level one. And I'll go into the scene section of my tray. And probably what I'll do is I'll rename this view so we'll rename the first one working view l1 so you can see how i rename that down here and i'm going to adjust that view so that my level 2 geometry is off so we'll go back to our working view level 1 and all we have to do is just uncheck the box for level 2 to turn that off and then you can right click and you can click update and so you can see how that's coming in here and that's updating this so now i have a working view for level 1 and then if I want to, I can add another layer, so I or another view, so I basically duplicated this. We'll call this one working view L2. And so for our working view L2, we're gonna turn off our level one layer and turn on our level two layer. And we'll just come in here and we'll update this. And you may have to come back in and update some of your other views as well so you can see how if you go to your floor plan view for example this is kind of blocking this and you don't necessarily want that so you can just come in here and turn that layer off and then update this so it may be better if you have multiple levels if uh, you create those and you kind of update them when you first start otherwise you may have to come back in and redo some of this but you can see how now I have this floor plan overall well I would just adjust this and call it floor plan overall L1 and then what I could do is I could add a new layer. We would call this one floor plan overall L2. And so we would just turn off our level one layer and turn on our level two layer. And then we could kind of move this around and we could update it. So now I have a level one overall view and a level two overall view. And you can see how I kind of move this one around. Um, I didn't use the same camera for the level one and the level two. A lot of that's gonna depend on what you wanna do with this. If you're trying to do like a dotted line or something like that um, over top of where this would be on your floor plan, then you might, you might uh, do this a little bit differently. But in this case, I just want a view that shows my second level. And if you remember, one thing that we need to do so that our frame shows up right is we need to add a section cut. So we're just gonna go in and we'll do the same thing that we've done before where we'll just add a section plane low enough in your level two that you can see through your walls. And so now you can go ahead and you can update this view. In this case, we'll just go ahead and update our scene. So now what we have is we have level one floor plans and we have level two floor plans. And one thing I'm gonna adjust really quick is I want this section view to be inside my level two group. So in this case, I'm just gonna select my section cut. I'm gonna do a control X. I'm gonna double click inside my group and I'm gonna do an edit paste in place. And so what that did is that just took my section cut and instead of it being outside the level two group so that it's not on the layer, now it's inside this level two group. So when I turn this on and off, the section cut will turn on and off as well. And you need to make sure in this view that this section cut is active. And I'm gonna turn off section planes. And so now that you've got this created, what you can do is you can save your model and so then you can just go over into layout and you can just add a view for your second floor. And so in this case, what I'm gonna do because I have a sheet already set up is I'm just gonna duplicate that sheet. So I'm just gonna right click on the sheet and I'm gonna click duplicate and I'm gonna do an A02 second level floor plan 
And probably I should adjust the way that I'm naming these plans. So in this case, you probably want these in here as A100, 200, etc. That way you can add pages in here without having to update this. Since I have so few pages in this case, it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna delete everything out that I have on this page. So, um, so like for example, the schedule, I don't really want that. I'm basically gonna remove everything in here. Um, basically what I wanted was I wanted kind of the page layout and I also wanted the label here. So what we can do now is we can just do a file, insert, and we'll just open our model. And in this case, we can bring our view in and you can adjust your scale to whatever you want it to be. So you can bring this in at a quarter inch, three eighths, whatever kind of fits your page the best. So something like this. And if you remember, we didn't quite set our... Uh, we didn't quite set our style up the way that we had our styles before. So in this case, we would take this view and we would adjust the style on this view to something like the hidden line. And so with the hidden line, now we can right click on this and we can update it. We can save our model. And then we can just right click on this and click update model reference. And so what that'll allow us to do is that'll allow us to bring this in. And all of the things we've done before with uh, like layering to create different line weights and that sort of thing, those are all gonna apply. But you can see I was able to bring in my second floor plan without having the first floor geometry showing up in here. And your stairs can be a bit of a gray area. So you may wanna put those either on their own layer or do something else with those if you want them to show up in this view. So that's something you'll kind of have to customize your own workflow but now I can come in here and I can just re relabel this second floor plan and just kind of go from there so leave a comment below let me know what you thought was this helpful to you um, how are you doing multiple floors in layout I just love having that sketchup conversation with you guys if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketchup content every week if you like what I'm doing on this channel please consider supporting me on patreon Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.